shaved all week. No, I haven't. <laughs> Neither have I. No, I haven't. I for, almost shaved this morning. I thought, yeah, you know, I'm going to wait one more day. Do for trimming this awful, ugh. You just got to shave everything. Tell no, me, I can't do that. Pour a bottle of neat nah, over your I can't head. shave at all. <laughs> I grow such terrible facial hair that I have to hang on to whatever hair I can <laughs> salvage, I guess. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, God bless my father, who still thinks that's his wedding song. <laughs> because their wedding song, you see, T.J. Bryan, yeah. was uh, You're the Best Thing That Ever Happened to Me okay. by Gladys Knight and the Pips, and it's got a very similar melody. Yes. So every time asked, uh, you know, what was what was the song you danced to at the wedding there, he says Midnight Train to Georgia. All right. Well, at least and he he's was got the right artist. And he was doing that before he started going senile. <laughs> Huh? He was doing that in sober times. We're going to be getting a, a text from your dad in about five seconds now. No, no, no. Dad does not text. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Carrier pigeon? Dad, at best. And even that might be too advanced for him. He's, got the, he's still got the clamshell phone. Okay. His story is this. Yes. Now, my father is um, 67 now. Okay. Yeah. So he, um, he's got the clamshell phone. All right. He refuses to text anybody. Mm -hmm. And he's got four contacts in it. All right. Four. You, me, your mom, right? Uh, my sister, your sister, and my my brother-in-law. Well, there you go. The end. He's got <laughs> nobody else in his phone, and he always never carries his phone with him if he's around us because he says, in in my best New York accent, of course, the four people I want to know if I need to talk to them, they're right here. There you go. See, I like your dad is living an unburdened life, right? You know, because I've got five thousand contacts in yeah. my phone, yeah. and I really probably only call four people. This is the <laughs> so I think your dad's onto he's something, onto something here. Man. Yeah, this is the life of a retired sanitation worker in New York City. That's awesome. I think yeah. everybody should only have a few contacts in their phone on speed, but dial. Number one should be mom. Number two should be some other close relative. Number three, the pizza place. And number four should be WJRZ to win contests. Well, look at and you. that's it. See that? Forget everybody else. <laughs> Grandma doesn't need to be called. No, no. As long as we are in your speed dial, we're good. That's right. And that phone number is going to be put to good use in the 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock hours with you because the spring fever party rapidly approaching. That's right. A week from uh, Saturday. Saturday, nine Coming days up. away. Today being the first day of spring, uh, officially at 12.57 yes. p.m. So whoever wins in the 1 o'clock hour, Right. It'll be the first winner of spring. Of spring for the spring fever that's, party. Uh, that's quite an accomplishment. Well, not only do you get to come to the party with us and three of your guests, but you also qualify for that trip to the Occidental Grand in the Dominican Republic with uh, Apple Vacations there. So win your way in when you hear the sounds of spring on the way uh, with you, 10 and 1. Glenn will do it again at 4. Van's going to be out at noon from noon to 1 p.m. in Point Pleasant. Uh, at Stop and Shop on Bridge Avenue, so you can stop by uh, and grab yourself some passes from the van there. So a lot of ways to get into the party, and, 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 just breaking news. Breaking news. Watch out now. All weekend long, we're giving away four packs as well. Are we now? Uh, uh, just about every other we hour, we're going to give away four packs. Just so benevolent around here, let me right? tell you. We want people to be there. It's going to be a fun time. Oh, wait, more breaking news. Oh, more? More breaking news. Wow. Not only uh, this weekend do you win the passes, but yes. you will also have the chance to qualify for the trip. Wow. Huh? Wow. Huh? That's impressive. More breaking news. What? More? I'm finished. Okay. That's it. When news breaks, we fix it. Turning it over to you. <laughs> TJ Ryan coming up for you next. He's got the uh, next 10 in a row for you on this uh, springy Thursday. Indeed. A little Genesis coming up. We'll do a little CCR in there. Exile. Watch out and, now. Uh, kick it off with Stevie Nicks. I know what song you're going to play by Exile. You do? Yeah, because I don't think there was a second one. No, no, there's pretty much right. just that one. He's also got uh, movie passes for The Muppets Most Wanted at the AMC Brick, so you want to go check that out. He's got it for you as well during the uh, jukebox uh, or, or somewhere else. No, it'll be the jukebox. jukebox. Yeah, very well. Noon hour. So hang with TJ. He's got you next. Uh, it's, uh, prepare something nice for 1257. We are going to send winter off in fine style, believe oh. me. So oh. uh, make sure you tune in. 1257. Are we allowed to do it? Uh, Is it vulgar? No, it's not vulgar. Well, it that's should how, be. That's how I would send winter <laughs> off. 12.57 with TJ. Have a lovely Thursday. Happy spring from JRZ. Woohoo! All right. Breaking news. We're done recording. Goodbye. <laughs>